Namaste. My name is Sarita Savant and uh, welcome everybody to Get Set Up platform. This is a community of active agents. We learn from each other. So we are going to have a pranayam session today. Uh, we will learn few pranayam. So if anybody has any question in between, you can ask me anytime. First pranayam we are going to learn is Brastika. Why pranayam? Pranayam is very important for us because Breath, if it doesn't move smoothly throughout the body, it causes a lot of problems. Prana is a energy. It doesn't mean the air. Sometimes we translate is air moving in and out. But what happens, air is there around, but there is no energy in that body. There is no value for that air, which moves in and out. So it is very important for the prana to move smoothly in a balanced way throughout the body because there is a strong connection between mind and the breath. Prana yama means prana is the energy and ayam is the control. It is not possible to control that energy directly, but we try to control the breath so we can automatically control that prana. And we do fast breathing, slow breathing. Sometimes we increase the rate of the breathing. Sometimes we slow down the rate of the breathing. Why to do pranayam? Because pranayam has a lot of benefits. One most important benefit, stabilizing the mind. Because mind and breath has a strong connection. When mind is agitated, prana doesn't flow smoothly throughout the body. We start breathing faster and vice versa. So it is very important to do pranayam to stabilize the mind. But same time, pranayam also has a lot of other benefits as it improves the lung capacity, improves the immune function. And when your prana flows smoothly throughout the body, all your physiological function will be smooth. So let's start with the brassica first. Brassica is a below breath. We do both inhalation and exhalation active and forceful. Normal inhalation when we do it is active and exhalation is a passive. But while doing prastika, we do both active inhalation and exhalation both. So I'll just tell the contraindication who is not supposed to do because there are some pranayam which has a limitation. Uh, we look for only benefits and just neglect the contraindication. So those who suffer with hypertension, cardiac problem, fluctuation of hypertension, cardiac problem, they should avoid it if you are suffering currently. But if it is under control with medication, you can easily do it. Second thing, who has epilepsy, glaucoma, vertigo problem, recent cataract surgery, you avoid doing dynamic pranayam. Dynamic pranayams in which we increase the rate, speed of the breathing. All other people can do pranayam very easily. So there are two ways to do brastika. Either do with the hand movement or without hand movement, placing the hand on your thighs. In that, chest movement happens automatically. Chest goes up while inhaling and exhaling, it gets relaxed. But consciously, there is no abdominal jerk. And while doing any pranayam, make sure you are keeping your facial muscles relaxed, shoulder fixed, no movement of any shoulder. So let's start with the brastika. We are going to do with the hand movement. Anybody suffering with any cervical spondylitis issue or any shoulder problem, please rest your hand on your thighs and you can do simple brastika, inhalation, exhalation, both active. Right. So, first we will do with the hand movement. You have to take the hands closer to the shoulder, elbows are bent. And inhaling, we are going to raise the hand up. Your palms will get open and exhaling, your elbow will come closer again. Right? Don't spread the hand outside, it will go exactly above the shoulder. You can increase the speed as per your comfort. and. When you stop, when you feel your shoulders are getting tired or sometimes slight heaviness in the head that happens naturally due to saturation of CO2, you can stop that. Okay, so let's begin. 
close your eyes anybody has any question you can ask immediately we can answer your question just close your eyes hands fold it let's begin inhale and up exhale and down inhale exhale you can increase the speed and while doing this pranayam you can hear the sound of your breath since we are doing it faster When you feel like stopping you stop keep the eyes closed keeping the back straight complete focus on your breath just observe your breath when you do with little speed and when you stop retention of the breath happens sometime for few seconds so we need to observe all the changes in the breath in the body state of the mind observe how your breathing is slowing down that he go at the how and the drill and how your thought process stop completely So your mind slows down. As your breath slows down, your chest movement slows down. As breathing slows down, feeling of freshness, lightness. that is the beauty of brastika brastika energizes your body shatter the dullness lethargy activate your body also any congestion it has to take it out breathing is slowing down and then you can open your eyes whenever you do brasika always do ask for your comfort not that we get the benefit so we should do it many times brasika should be done empty stomach because this active pranayam in that we increase the rate, breathing rate If your stomach is full you will not be comfortable so empty stomach and once in a day it is okay not that you get a lot of benefits so you can repeat it many time dynamic pranayam has a limitation so always you should do once in a day it's okay now we will do same rasika pranayam without hand movement so you can rest your hand on your thighs keep your back straight and those who want to keep the hand on the chest and observe the movement you can do so so let's begin brasika one more time active inhalation active exhalation let's begin When you feel like stopping, you can stop immediately. And when you stop, complete focus on your breath. Observe your breath. We increase the rate of breathing. So how it is going back to normal? 
We need to observe that. And as breathing slows down, mind slows down. Observe, experience the internal changes. And as your breathing slows down, then you can slowly open your eyes and relax. So it is not that when you do pranayam, you have to do fast many pranayam. You can do one pranayam and when you stop, you observe how your breathing is slowing down, what are the internal changes happening inside your body, state of your mind. That's how we have to observe internally, experience what is going on inside. And this is very helpful to stabilize the mind. So if you have any question related to this, you can put in the chat box. We'll answer all your questions. Thank you all for attending the classes. We have uh, classes, different fitness classes, pranayam classes on Get Setup platform every hour. You can come and join me and many other guides are there on Get Setup, uh, which take the different uh, classes, Pilates, Yoga, other fitness classes, also the Pranayam and uh, dance classes. There are so many different uh, subjects on this platform. So please do join us and participate in this uh, program. Uh, hoping to see you in the next class. Thank you.